Hi everyone, it's Fad. So in today's video, we're trying to make a, a main menu system that can be used during game jams. Everyone loves to participate in game jams, especially the short one, the 48 hours one, but they are really quite short to pull out a finished game. And always making the UI is a hassle. So let's try to fix this problem. Let's make a main menu system. All you have to do is just download the simple scripts, add them to your Unity project, and done and after that you can make a main menu in 10 minutes or less so let's get started in our project that's called the menu jam so my first problem while doing the ui is just putting the anchors up it's always the most time consuming process so let's figure out a solution so i did some research and i found a small code that on the internet that can may help us in this situation so after writing it and uh, experimenting with it Let's, let's see if it works. Oh man, there's a bug. Uh, so, of course, after um, uh, 5 to 10 minutes, I figured it out. And now, the code, I can say it's working perfectly. All you have to do now is just locate the button above, select a UI object, and just press the button, and okay, voila, it's working, yes. So this is a very huge milestone in the UI system because this can solve a lot of our problems. All you have to do is to move objects around, just move them and then press that button and the anchors just are in place. So now let's go on to the next problem. Let's check that from our do list. So now let's add the basic UI stuff, the basic main menu stuff, the scene manager so we can move between scenes. So here we don't need the start game and the back to the scene and go to the game scene. All we need is just one scene manager and go into the scene number and we can set the scenes and when we build the game in the build menu. Now let's add the quit function so we can quit the game. We can either call this function from a button or we can call it from a key. Just pressing a key and we can set that key in the inspector and I've got the default scale. Okay. Now, we have to add the code URL script and this can help the player by pressing the button to go to our HIO page or to our YouTube page. Uh, so now, we have to add two functionality for the windows but in WebGL this, this can't work because uh, if we open a URL in the same page of the game, the game crashes so we have to add a simple fix to open the URL in a new windows and that's it and it's now working perfect and to use this script all you have to do is just put a button and in the button event we have to add the url as a string and that's it it's all set and done let's check the list so now we have to make the game pause and unpause so we can do that in two ways we can pause the game when we press a button or we can pause the game with a key that can be manually set from the inspector uh, the pause and unpause button need a save, so if you, the player may use a button and a key, it's up to them. And we have to make sure that the time uh, can be changed from scale 1 to 0 to stop or move the game. It's as simple as that. Now our final main menu item is the sound. So to control the sound we have two different things. We have to mute the sound and unmute it and we have to check the volume of the sound. Okay, to change the value in the game. So, uh, first let's start with the mute button. To make this easy to set up, I put an awake a function that allows us to look at the audio source in our scene and then add them all to a list so we could control them all. So in the same function or the mute functions that can be controlled by a key or by a button, uh, it's simple that go for each and all the audio source in the list and just mute them one by one. For the change volume, I had to implement two functions. One that can take a value from a slider when the slider change, and one that can take a simple float that can be called from a function or a button. Okay, and that's it. And by this, I think the sound function is ready to go and to implement in the game. So let's test it out and the test is good. Okay, it's working. Nice. So now I guess my main menu controller or the main menu system is finished. And now let's test the system out. Let's create a main menu in 10 minutes or less. 
let's get started. So first of all, we put the main menu controller and the sound controller uh, into the canvas as scripts. Now we have to add the main menu panel, right, like this. Okay, nice. And we choose where in the scheme we want it. So we want it here. Now just small press and now have the anchors around the panel. Nice. Now let's add the buttons. We, have, we need the start button and an options button and the quit button. This is just a small copy paste. And now we have all the buttons in the right places. Now we mark the pat buttons all of them and just press the UI system above and it's all done. And after adding the buttons, all we have to do is just rename them and then put the anchors around them. And now we have the main, the main main menu panel ready to move. Let's add the, again, the game title. It's simple and easy, just a text. So here I'm using the simple Unity text. You can use the Text Mesh Pro. It's up to you and can work perfectly. And it's better than the normal text. But for the sake of this experiment, I'm just putting the normal text. So, just modifying the text. After that, we have to add uh, the option uh, menu that has the slider and the mute button and of course the pack button. And after that, we have to add the two buttons that will take us to our YouTube channel and our HIO channel. Now, after constructing our main menu, everything we need, all the buttons, now let's add some more colors. So the best place for me to download uh, cool UI patterns is from Kenny website. Uh, all you have to do is just go to the assets, then UI, and all you have to do is just press the asset you like, then download. Uh, and of course, I very encourage you to donate to this guy. His assets are amazing. So after that, all you have to do is just uh, get your R file and uh, go inside it, find the PNG files, that contain uh, all the UI elements you need. Just bring the PNG file because it's worked perf perfectly with Unity. Just put it in the project file and let's continue adding the UI into our game. After that, just click on the button you need and just choose the perfect PNG for that button and we'll change its shape. It's as simple as changing the sprite of the button. And uh, a simple trick if you don't have uh, an art to put in the background you can just simply change the color of your background or your camera background and then we have just a white screen behind our main menu now after constructing our main menu now it's time to add the scripts so just mark the buttons and every button on the click function we just drag and drop the canvas and in the canvas we can see the scripts that we know that we need and the function and after dragging the canvas we can simply see all the functions that we need to implement inside the bot and on the option button and the path button in the option menu we have just to add the panels and make the game object to set active so when pressing the option button the main menu got disappear and the option menu appear and the path button is the same but in reverse it's as simple as that and to test the scene button, we can go make another scene and put another button there that will take us back to the main menu. And in the main menu, the start button will take us to the game scene. It's as simple as that. We can put it in the build menu and reorder the scenes as we like. And now in the final test of the sound controller, we can check that everything is working just fine and the main menu system is working. So. Uh, Let's say now, for example, we need to make adjustment to this main menu. It's as simple as just pressing on the UI or the main menu panel, drag it whenever we want, and then UI system above and put the anchors around it. And now we have a complete another main menu with one pressing of a button. So now the main menu system is all working up and ready to be used by all of you game jammers. And of course, this project will be available on my GitHub all you have to do is go to the description down below and check it out. And if you have any improvement in your mind, just post it in the comments below so I can go in, improve the code and upload it back to GitHub. Now, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you want to join our community on Discord, you can find the links in the description below. 
see you all in the next video.